Hello everyone, this is Chris from the UK. I'm the teacher from www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk. This is a new free video lesson for Learn British English Free on YouTube and the British English page for Learn British English on Facebook. My last lesson was about British English and American English, some American words that you shouldn't use in the UK. This time I'm going to talk about a common pronunciation difference between British and American speakers. I thought of this lesson when I had a conversation with someone about two weeks ago. We were in a classroom and I had to hold up a sign for one of my colleagues about time and he said to me you should hold it up it's do and I said uh, what he said it's do and I looked like this I said what do you mean he says do d-u-e and I said oh Jew Jew and this is the point of this lesson there are some words beginning with D which we pronounce differently if we are from Britain. Let's start with Jew then and the pattern here is that Americans will say D, make that straight D sound whereas you, we use the J sound like the J in joke J, even though the letter is D. We've already done one Jew, D-U-E, the train is Jew. Americans will say do British people will say Jew. A word which sounds exactly the same but has different spelling and meaning is D-E-W, Jew. This refers to the little drops of water which form on plants and grass overnight, especially in summer. Again, Americans say do, as in the verb do. We say Jew. How about something that means it's a noun that means it's like a, a task or a specific job? Americans say duty. Duty. Sorry for my bad American impression, by the way. British people, however, say duty. Duty. That same pattern, do, duty, ju, duty. And one last word, an adjective, dubious, if you're American, dubious. And for British people, like me, it's dubious, dubious. Please have a look in the description to the video for the words and the phonetic inscriptions to help you understand better but it's quite simple really for a small selection of words do or ju, d or j and it can help avoid some communication problems like I described at the beginning of the lesson. Thank you very much for watching this concludes this lesson another one about British English and American English and this one was about pronunciation. I hope you found it helpful. I strongly suggest that you have a go at practicing this because like I described it can perhaps cause confusion if you're using the wrong type of pronunciation in the wrong place. But we will probably understand eventually. I wish you the best of luck. Please do join us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and on the website www.learnbritishenglish.co.uk. In the description on YouTube you can find the links to get to all of those free websites. Also my email address, you can contact me for Skype lessons. I'm available to do those now. Please do get in touch and I'll post some new lessons in the future. I hope to see you then. Bye for now.